Hi, I would like to show you how to log into Bianca from inside SUNET, the university network. So for this is for the Bianca uh, Upmax course. Um, and I do step six, you all got some a Word document similar like this, like you have to get an account that's super, apply for account, blah, 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 to factor authentication and so on. And then here step six is where I come in. So we're gonna log in to Bianca with three different ways of which I only will show the first two ways because the third is redundant. Um, so we're gonna log in via SSH. We're inside SUNET, we're inside the university network now. We're gonna log in via ThinLink. Also when inside of SUNET, else you can't do it. Outside SUNET, these two options don't work. And this is just my username and the project we're going to log into. And we're just gonna follow what's here. We have to open our tech terminal program, sure. And then we're gonna type this command. Um, so I'm gonna copy paste that command and just adapt it a bit um, so you can see how to do that. Copy paste. I go to my notes. I need to do this. Uh, so my upmax username is Richel. Project name is already correct. So this is how I should log into Bianca. So let's do that. Start a terminal, type it, enter. Do you want to do this? Yes, I want to do that. Um, what's my password? Well, the first password, as you'll see, you will be asked for a password now, and you will not see response in the terminal while typing your password. This is normal behavior. It hides the length of your password. As a password, you should use your upmax password, immediately followed by the six digits from the two-factor authentication, and press Enter. So you need two things. A password, you need to know that and six digits from the 2FA, two-factor authentication uh, server. So, um, so you have that two-factor authentication thing at hand somewhere. So I'm now taking my phone and it has to be Upmax. So you'll have a 2FA, a two-factor authentication already for super, but that's irrelevant. You need Upmax. It must be Upmax. All right. So first going to type my regular password and then the six number. So my regular password is secret. I'm not sharing it with you. So I'll just type it now. You see the cursor is not moving, but believe me, I just typed in my password. So I'm going to look for my 2FA, which is 056075, enter. So um, I passed, I got in. Notice that I need to type my password again but this time without the two-factor authentication, just my password. And now I'm into Bianca. Uh, this takes a, can take a, a couple of seconds, um, sometimes even some minutes, uh, because you need, it will make your own little login note for you because everything is isolated on Bianca. Uh, you see it's me, I'm on the right system, uh, so I'm logged in. However, I'm also going to discuss the second way to log in, which is using ThinLink. So for that, to find that, I'm going to just Google something like Bianca Upmax ThinLink. And there we find the Bianca User Guide or the graphical... Well, I'm going to use this one, Bianca User Guide. Scroll down, so here we see the two-factor authentication. Here we see Bianca in relationship to the SUNET network. And where is the graphical login there? Just browse to that thing. Then we go to that website and you see it if you're inside SUNET. You won't see it if you're not inside SUNET. So my username is Richel. My project name, let's take a look, is here. Just type it there. And here I have to type in my password. And here I have to type my two-factor authentication code. So I'm looking up now, it is 370976, enter. And then I need to type my password again without two-factor authentication. Enter. And then I'm on Bianca using a graphical user interface. Um, and this is useful if you want to do uh, graphics. Uh, if, let's say you want to use RStudio or um, some kind of visual code editor. So this is how it looks like. I'm going to use a default config and then I'm going to enjoy um, the graphical thing.
But that's beyond the point what this thing can do. So I'm going to end this video. I've showed you how to log in via SSH, log in via ThinLink. And if you are outside, you have to do it differently. Then you really have to log in on via SSH on Rackham, which is another server by Upmax. And from Rackham, you can SSH into Bianca because Rackham is inside the Sunet. So if you're in there, you can SSH into Bianca as well. The graphical will, won't work unless you use a VPN. The university has these, but not for Linux, only for Windows and Mac. So for me, I'm a Linux user. I, I can't use this outside of Sunet. All right, uh, good luck, uh, enjoy the course, and see ya. Hey, do.